is Eyewitness News Nightcast. Now, with Western New York's number one newscast, here with Mary McCombs is Irv Weinstein. Topping Eyewitness News Nightcast, a devastating blow from Mother Nature. The ferocious swirling winds of a tornado tore a Cheektowaga neighborhood apart. The twister touched down in an area roughly bordered by the thruway, Walden Avenue, and Genesee Street, leaving behind terrified residents in a neighborhood that looked like a war zone. Ropes were torn from homes as frightened residents crouched in basements. Trees were uprooted. Cars were tossed around like toys. We have a series of reports on this disaster. We begin tonight with Carl Brown in the live eye at the Holiday Showcase restaurant located in Cheektowaga. Carl, what's the latest? Well, Mary and Irv, I'm sure you can see on this live picture, workers are on the roof of the Showcase restaurant, a uh, holiday restaurant in Cheektowaga. What's left of this restaurant, it really, to me, looks like a burned out shell. And I guess all that really can be said is it really is a miracle that no one lost their life or was seriously injured when this tornado hit. Now imagine, if you will, it's the middle of the afternoon in one of the busiest sections of suburban Buffalo, and this tornado just suddenly hits virtually out of nowhere. Well, as you can also imagine, there were some very brave people who had a very close brush with disaster. In these exclusive pictures, you can see this is what the twister looked like to a man taking home movies for Eyewitness News. As it gathered debris and headed towards Union Road, Al Cavanaro had 25 people inside his showcase restaurant. He and about 15 employees didn't have much time to get downstairs to the basement. When we first saw it come over the trees, it was like blowing leaves. It wasn't too bad. When it got to putt-putt, it just tore up putt-putt. So at first, when we saw it, we just moved everybody away from the windows. I had a, I had a party of four out there that were deaf, and they, they didn't even hear that. We had to literally go over and grab them out, brought them all over against the wall, away from the windows, and then as it got closer, you could feel the pressure coming. And everybody that was back against the wall had enough time to get to get down, you know, get downstairs. I looked back out to make sure that everybody was gone, and at that point it got extremely dark, real, real loud, and the roof fell in. And uh, it goes without saying that uh, we're all pretty lucky tonight that uh, this didn't turn out to be a lot worse than it is. Fortunately, it's just uh, property damage and no lives were lost. That's going to wrap it up from here with the Channel 7 Live Eye from Cheek to Walga. I'm Carl Brown. Back to you, Irvin Mary. No question about it, Carl. We can all be very thankful. Thank you. Mary? In the seconds before the tornado hit, residents had time to take cover. Many headed for their own basements moments before their roofs were torn off and windows smashed. Tonight, Nightcast reporter Mary Travers surveyed the destruction with people who lived through the nightmare. It was an uprooting, roof-raising, home wrecker of a rage. Oh, they were scared. George Urban Boulevard will never look the same. We had a garage, two-car garage, and a shed. And everything was inside, and it was neat. I lost my roof, the interior, I don't know yet. The exterior, all the trees are down. The minor things that I'm not aware of at the moment. The neighbor behind me says he saw the funnel hit the garage, and then it bounced over our house, and it hit the house across the street from us. Many are lucky to be alive. We hear the winds, and our uh, doors were slamming. And look out the window, and everything is flying. Trees and the garage next door flew up in the air, so I said to my wife, we better go in the basement. But when we come up, we had the great surprise of no, no roof or anything on the house. Dozens of volunteer firefighters picked up the pieces and protected stunned homeowners. There's a lot of wires down, and nobody knows what those wires are connected to. We just turned off the gas on a house that was, uh, the basement was fully filled with uh, the fumes of gas because a stove was pulled away from the wall. Some residents wasted no time getting out, not even bothering to pack their bags. We'll go and stay in a motel until I can get in touch with my uh, state farm agent. Our house, you know, is exactly like this one. And their roof and these people, and it's, you know, really, you think it can't happen to you. You see it all the time, but when it happens, when you actually see it happening, that's when it hits home. All the residents are amazed at how quickly the tornado twisted through. As one resident put it, it took four days to build my garage and four seconds to destroy it. In Cheektowaga, Mary Travers, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Nightcast. Another area hit hard by the Cheektowaga twisters along Cherokee Drive. Eyewitness News reporter David Collin has that story. The residents along Cherokee Drive felt they were lucky because most of them were home when the big wind roared through, but none was hurt. 
it happened so suddenly, you know. We, were, we tried to close the windows and we heard all this storm and noise and blowing and the trees flying around and the uh, siding hitting the house and all of a sudden the windows blew out in the front of the house and that was it. I watched the garage, I watched it, looked out the window to see the garage going. In about maybe 45 seconds it was all over. Part of his garage landed here and part of it in his back neighbor's yard. This wind has done some very strange things. For example, this blue pickup truck was parked right here on the street on Cherokee Drive. The wind picked it up, turned it on its side, and slammed it against this tree, squashing its top. And the residents here are complaining that in their backyards, their belongings have been replaced by somebody else's. When we realized there was going to be trouble, we went down in the basement. We stood there and, and hung on to each other and prayed and just waited. But we went down and right in the center of the basement, away from windows. What and, was it like down there? Uh, scary. Because really, uh, the rafters, everything was shaking. We just thought the house was going to collapse and come right down on us. It didn't, but it felt like it was going to. In all the devastation and damage along Cherokee Drive, there was one minor injury. During the cleanup, a Cheektowaga Road Department worker suffered an apparent broken leg. Well, we were cutting this tree here. It was all, it was actually completely devastated, and we were cutting it. We had a rope on my truck, and we went to pull it, and we put the notch in, and instead of it going that way, it come on me. About the cleanup by the town of Cheektowaga, this must be said. The crews were on the job on Cherokee Drive within an hour of the roaring wind. David Collin, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Nightcast. With all the damage to homes, many people were chased out fearing gas leaks and downed power line dangers. National Fuel Gas reports three crews are going house to house in the area checking for those leaks. So far, the only leak detected was at the Holiday Showcase restaurant. 800 residents lost power when the twister hit. Quick work by Niagara Mohawk crews restored power to 500 customers. Crews are still working on the remaining 300, and hundreds of residents are also without phone service tonight. 200 lines are reportedly down, and crews are working through the night on those two.